Hello, my name is Paweł and I'm working at Solid Studio. We are supporting the mobility sector by building custom CPO and EMSP platforms. And along the way, we developed a suite of products that can speed up the development. Today, I want to talk to you about Virtual Charge Point. Okay, so let's take a look on the screen. On the left, we've got a dashboard of our OCPP server that is hosted on our AWS infrastructure. And on the right, we've got the virtual charge point that I'd like to discuss. So first, let's take a look on the OCPP server dashboard. We can see that two charge points are actually connected to it. And my, my charge point CS1 is visible here. Let's take a look on its details. We can see its ID status, uh, how much energy it consumed before, and our OCPP server supports remote start and stop. What is very important here, we can see the uh, requests and responses of the OCPP server. So it's super uh, helpful when it comes to the backing um, of our application. As mentioned before, on the right, we've got our virtual charge point uh, and we modeled um, the actions you can execute that can correspond to actually real actions that can be done via the real charge point. So of course, the main actions that can be done is first of all, plugging in the cable. As you can see on the right, it automatically changed the status of our charge point to being occupied, but the energy is not consumed yet because uh, if we want to start charging, we need to scan the RFID token. So this is exactly what I did on the right. We can see all the requests and responses uh, that corresponds to the transaction and we can see that the meter readings are being updated. Okay, so let's now unplug the cable. It stopped the charging and the charge point is back available to any new driver. So before I finish, I also wanted to show you a very cool feature implemented recently by our developers. Uh, of course, there can be few people that like to harm your charge point and somebody can shake it. Of course, this is a situation that you should record our OCPP server was notified with the alert. And thanks to that, you can build any business logic you would like on your CPO platform. Okay, that's it. If you've got any questions regarding the virtual charge, please let me know. I'll be happy to help.